Good morning, America. Today we are September the 1st, and uh, well, I'll tell you what, my heart goes to um, all the people that have died in the Texas shooting, seven, seven innocent people who died. When I made my video a couple of days ago, it was before this uh, shooting, but I can only emphasize what I said then, ugly face of death, drama, horror, surface. One of the line involving my quatrain, and of course the keywords are all about death, drama, the police, the FBI, terrorism, somebody was right. Now, I don't know how many of you have watched uh, all my video, but if you did not long ago, I mentioned that this will never stop. And I said, if you think getting rid of the gun will save the situation or make the situation better, I said it'll make it worse because people will use track. That's what I said. Well before this guy decided to steal a car, a truck, and start to shoot people randomly. Somebody must be right. I'm telling you. Draco channeling in my UFO predictive uh, legacy can, can be a curse. So all my prayer, all my heart goes for all these victims. That's nothing sad enough because uh, tomorrow will be the beginning of the plutonic SOS to the world deadly window. And uh, we all know that uh, the strongest storm on the planet this year is about to hit. And a lot of people will not make it, I'm telling you. This is the red carpet of the reptilians. Believe me, this has nothing to do with ARP. No, this is the reptilians manipulating the cosmic winds that translates in this dense physical world with one of the biggest hurricane, Hurricane Horin, that is about to kill a lot of people and make a lot of destruction. Incidentally, the 2nd of August was given in my last few radio show. This date was also given in my newsletters and of course, to all my VIP on the Cosmic Code a month ago. So I don't think our infantile science is ready yet to realize that everything starts and finishes into the stars, pretty much like the human mind is directly connected with the universal mind and reacting to an outside stimuli induced by God cosmic design. Slowly but surely the scientific community who are watching my videos start to think out of the box and realize that we give exact date of earthquakes. You've seen them on that newsletter, which I recommend again, every one of you to read because I've updated it with all sorts of interesting things, which I cannot approach every one of them. So it's, uh, you're going to learn something each time you click on the provided link and read uh, the newsletter, because maybe you're not a visual, maybe you are audible. And then my English French accent may not help you. So by reading, you'll be able to assimilate much better those news. So let's see what, those deadly news are all about in reference to the current news reflected by my quatrains and my keywords or Nostradamus 16th century divine astrology. And for your information, I'm the only one on the planet who revive and rekindle Nostradamus work. And that's why with the help of Draco, the extraterrestrials who work through me, I'm able to make an agreeable predictions. And for this, I shouldn't be beaten. I shouldn't be sought as the biggest egocentric on the planet. And like me, you should be part of the, uh, the solution and share my wisdom and share my warning so we can save more lives. All right, so 
Florida police officers arrested on child pornography charge. If you look at the keywords, it mentioned police news and then sex or porn. That's the news today. Those windows are dead on. The reptilians are using those windows that are directly related to the police force. And again, I can only repeat myself, so maybe I will get the attention I need to help the police and help them to go back home. I've been dedicating with cops, family members, mothers, sisters, brothers, friends. For years, all you gotta do is to click on police requiem and read what those family members have said and how worried they are because their loved ones are involved with one of the most dangerous jobs on the planet, being a cop or an FBI agent. Your life is on the line every single day. And it's not all those big police executives behind their big protective desk that are facing those bullets. That's why they are all responsible for all the cops of the past that are dead and those who will die in the future because they are still refusing to use my technology combined with the existing technology that is in the trooper's car so that they could be made aware of that specific windows that directly affect the police force and produce terrorism or lead to people like this crazy lunatic thing who decided to steal a car and go and kill and shoot people randomly. I can help. No one is paying attention. Better than that, they removed me from every single major networking public website on the planet. That's what you get when you have somebody like me, different, that offer the proof of what he does, but it's outside of the box. It's not accepted as his serious discipline. So it's something you must ridicule. My God, this world is so young, my friend. All right, so there you go. Those who are supposed to protect and serve us are infected by the reptilians. Not all of them got thanks for that because I do have some really good friends, police captain, retired police cops uh, in, in various cities in the United States. Not all of them are sucked into the reptilians agenda, but many of them, those who are not cosmic conscious, definitely are and will be. It will never stop, my friend, unless humanity build cosmic consciousness and we can start to re-educate our children before they degenerate and kill everybody who kill themselves. Because again, this guy who kills seven innocent people is also a victim. He's a victim of the status quo. He's a victim of the U.S. Department of Education, which is not how me and, and people like me, not just me, including my students, to pay attention. That's a nomen. Nothing, nothing happened by accident. The force wants to make you aware when I say something, when I use it, when I'm talking about something and you have a little ding, pay attention. All right, but people haven't been trained to listen, pay attention to the omens and wait, wait until I talk about Pope Francis. Omen. Move on. This window is all about death. Yes. How come now Princess Diana, her life and legacy 22 years, 22 years after her death being rekindled? Did you read the word famous death? Do you think it's an accident for Princess Diana to be opposite in all over the world? Is not a famous person death? How more precise can I be, honestly? Now you've got psychic astrologers, you've got uh, uh, prodigies out there, you have uh, mediums. Where are they when it comes to guide you? Ask the question. Remember, you're dealing with the undeleted truth with Dr. Terry. That's why people love me or hate me. Can't be yellow with me. Arnold Schwarzenegger mourned the death of Paul Franco Columbus. Hello? Is Arnold Schwarzenegger 
and was Franco Columbus famous people? I guess so. Are we talking about death? Yes. And do you know something again you don't know that only Dr. Thierry can tell you? Is both of those guys were born in August under the sign of Leo, which means they were meant by God order, God cosmic design to own a stage, to be famous. If you're a Leo, an Aries, a Taurus, a Scorpio, God knows what, go to Dr. Cherry and then click on your sign at least. Take the time to read the basics of what it means to be a Leo, a Scorpio, a Taurus, a Virgo. Be curious. Explain your cosmic awareness because this is not bullshit. That's why the Pope. If you go to drturi.com again and scroll down, you will see pictures of the popes being taught astrology by the Vatican Council. And for your information, all popes are enthroned under the sign of Leo, the king. But they don't want you to know. And people like me, who have, who have over the century preserved astrology and revived astrology, have been burned on the stake or hanged or perished in jail just to trying to explain to you what God's cosmic design is all about and reintroduce Jesus' initial cosmic ministry to the world. When Jesus said, I want to introduce our Father in the heavens, it was not printed by the hand of man on a book. Uh-uh. It is designed by the divine by the thought and the will of our creator himself. Should I be hated for that? Move on. Formula 2 driver Antoine Huber killed in crash at Belgian Grand Prix. Are we talking about a famous death again? And if you remember, I think one or two videos ago, another beautiful woman died. A racing driver. A famous death. Reporter. Here's what Trump assistant said that got her fired. Okay, understand. Okay, understand. You got to go under your stars so that you can stand above your stars, which means reach for the stars. And then you will understand your purpose in this lifetime and your divine design and the part you play. Remember what I said many times during those Plutonic window, whatever you say, whatever you do, will follow you for the rest of your life. Didn't I say that? How many times did I say that? And the next thing you know, President Trump personal assistant opened her mouth a little bit too much by divulging things that she shouldn't have. She's in power. She's part of the bunch of ridicule, idiotic powerful people that control your life yet they know nothing about themselves or the cosmic design how ridiculous is that they want to control you yet they know nothing about the power of the divine i do now San Jose Hotel staff patron hospitalized after guests used poisonous chemical in apparent suicide. No, he's never going to stop. You can take the guns away. Believe me, that's not going to stop. They're going to use a car. They're going to use poison. And I even said they will use bombs. Ah, pay attention. It's going to get worse. You need to understand to help me and start to beat those entities with the same weaponry. It's so psychical. It's either positive or negative. It's all about that generation, being confused, being harassed, leading to seeking help. And those educated idiots out there who have been indoctrinated with their books and the codification of thought will load you with chemicals. And that will be the beginning of the end for you because you're not supposed to ingest chemicals on a steady base. You have to sometimes, like I do when I take my medication, so that I can sit here and talk to you and kill the pain. What else do we have? A woman drowned in the flood after 911 dispatcher scolded her. 
Remember, be careful what you say, be careful what you do during those plutonic windows. Do you think this lady still has a job at 911? Why she was telling that dying woman, panicking, hey, take it easy, relax, what's going on? She was dying. She actually died. You think she's going to keep a job? Mm -mm. Pay attention, my friend. This window is now on and it's going to be going for a few days. You're going to see the drama that's being played on earth. You're going to see the dance of evil like you have never seen before. And I told you all about it so on my radio show and in my newsletters and those videos. Share it. Be part of the solution. Do not feed the reptilians with the ignorance and the fear they want you to be in. Remember, shoot first barricade collapsed in Seattle, leaving about 25 people injured. Well, people do not know. You know, there are a lot of people that throw a lot of these conferences out there. They do it whenever they want, whenever they feel like, because it fits certain holidays. They don't watch the cosmic code and they know nothing about the cosmic code and the results. The reptilians are there to use those nasty cosmic wind to hurl to kill people. You know, anytime I deal with uh, a conference promoter, and I always tell them, don't, you know, if you have to have a conference on UFOs or on anything else, you know, let me give you specific dates so the people that will come will not ex have a bad experience. They will not die. They will not have their car being towed away. They will not get a cop or flat tie on the way to the conference. They'll have a wonderful time and your business will expand. Yep, that's what I do. Don't know, but now you do. Secret must come to light during those cosmic windows. Okay, there you go. I just only hope that these people will remember that all I do, all that is me, is the essence of me being touched by those UFOs and extraterrestrials since the age of six years old. And I have a lot, a lot to offer. And I just hope they will invite me again in their conferences so I can spread the truth. What else do we have? World War II started exactly 80 years ago. Is World War III on the way? Well, one of my most um, proficient web uh, Facebook page was uh, World War III. <laughs> and uh, Facebook just killed it. You know, they'd rather listening, listen and uh, reward the religious fanatics, the atheists, those who have nothing to offer to the world. Okay, those who have harassed me for years, they'd rather reward those idiots than to let me warn you of the possibility of losing your life. I'm a month ahead of the biggest hurricane that touched down in the United States this year. You see? You see why I need you? This is why, you see why I need you to play your part and help me to bring that light, that awareness and fight the reptilians? They want you in darkness. They want you in fears. They want you in chaos. And all that I'm talking about is negative because I have to go where you are at, something you can reach and understand. And from there, you know, bring some breath of love and light and awareness and bring the divine into your life so that you can benefit from being a superhuman or being positive instead of being negative and work for the reptilians subconsciously because a lot of people are not even aware they are robots of their stars they are robots of those entities they are slaving for those entities on a daily base yes my friend student pilot on first lesson forced to land plane after instructor blacked out call it his positive cosmic biorhythm he was not supposed to die on that day the negative window was there, but his protective cosmic biorhythm was there too. So it neutralizes. What's the chance of you, after one lesson, being able to land a plane? I was taking, I was taking a helicopter lessons. Uh, the first time I took off with a helicopter in California years ago, if my instructor passed out, I'd be dead. Yeah. The only difference is I knew when to go up. And I was not signing up to fly whenever I felt like 
put everything on my side while I am learning. Because, you know, when you're trained to do auto rotation, uh, that's, that's pretty tough, you know. So I'd rather learn, you know, during a good time. So if it happened and the reptiles mess up the electronics or the mechanical component of that helicopter, I won't die. It's all about knowledge and awareness, my friend. What else do we have? CNN reporter, we started walking thinking things were over. Then we saw that big, huge fire. Again, I told you, raw power challenges police deadly VLAN. And I was saying a couple of days ago, I hope those guys are not going to do the manifestation uh, uh, during this plutonic window because that will be nasty. The police will hurt them or the police will be hurt. And then there you go. It's happening. And I kept the best for last. Pope Francis rescued by firefighters after getting stuck in Vatican elevator. Of course, those who are representant of God on this planet, talking about the Pope, for Christians, uh, the Dalai Lama, we are talking about all these big, huge, very powerful people. If they have any remote divine connection with God, why don't they do what I do? Ask this question. Do you, remember, you're dealing with Dr. Terry. You have to deal with the undiluted truth. Do you think Pope Francis knows that this is a very, very serious omen for what's ahead for him and the church or the Vatican for that matter? You know, an elevator goes up, okay? It goes up. So if you go up in a dream and an elevator, your life will be elevated. The draconis, because you have participated with life, because you did something good, because of your karma, you're going to get an omen through your dreams that everything will be just fine. You're going to come up. It's like one of those famous guys one day says, uh, oh, man, uh, why do I dream all the time that my elevator is going down, 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 and he never reached the bottom? It's because this person has a fear to lose his position of power. That person has a name. That person is on radio and television and the movies, but she has, or he has fears. I'm not going to divulge his name because I know this person. It's a very famous guy. The guy. Well, anytime the elevator goes down, it's a message that you have fears and you should not because now the reptilians are going to feed on it. So in terms of the Pope, an elevator just got stuck. Okay. So what does it mean? It, does, it means that the age of Pisces, or last 2,000 years, uh, which has created, thanks to Reptilius, over 875 different religions, this age is dying. The new age of Aquarius is now taking place. New age of Aquarius has led, of course, the scientists to believe that now science is their, is their god, and that's what stimulates all this uh, um, Atheist idiots out there who think uh, there's no God, there's no magical design. There is none because they're stupid. They are not cosmic conscious. All they have is God, their Bible, or science. Are, nobody has been there to show them, tell them anything else like I'm doing. Okay? So Christianity is on her way out. Slowly but surely. But the problem is, if the scientists and the atheists, the, agnost the agnostics, takes over, and remember, I'm into the future. People like me, spiritual, people like you, if you're religious, you are going to be sought as not normal. And they're going to try to fix your head so that you only believe in science. You're going to slowly but surely turn into a reptilian. Those scientists, I repeat myself, are becoming master of matter. That's why the reptilians or the draconians, for that matter, do not and will not delegate with your president or with whomever or any scientist on this planet. First of all, because a magnet will attract a piece of wood. Scientists and atheists don't believe in UFO, like they don't believe in astrology. Okay, it's just normal that we never attract the experience. Plus, the reptilians or the draconians are not supposed to interfere with the human affairs. That's an order from the Galactic Grand Federation of Cosmic Order. They're not supposed to interfere with us, but they do. The negative one, they don't care about the law. They do. 
and the draconis are there. Believe me, they are watching very closely. So every one of my video is teaching you something different. This is a serious message for Pope Francis to pay attention, being stuck in an elevator, that regardless of all that he's going to do to try to revive Christianity or any religion for that matter, it's already on their way out. Because anything and everything that happened to you during those cosmic winds will stay with you for the rest of your life and will change you for the rest of your life. In other words, it's a perfect time for you to get a wake-up call and to realize there is a little bit more behind astrology. Remember the 12 signs of the zodiac? They represent the essence of the 12 apostles in turn representing the 12 hours of the day, the 12 months of the year, the 12 sins, the 12 jury, the 12 trial of Israel, the 12 notes of music. The correlation between astrology and religion is only one. But long time ago, those who were in power who knew about this didn't want to share that wisdom with you because that's too much knowledge. Remember, knowledge is power, ignorance is evil. And they control the information, they change the information, they give you something you can't understand, like the Ten Commandments, something stupid, okay? And that's much easier to read the Bible and Ten Commandments and things that make sense than to dig into God's cosmic design, because you may not be a chosen one, you may not be born with the UCI that is spiritually advanced enough to allow you to enter the archetypal realm of supracosmic consciousness. Have you thought of it? No human being is made the same. You know my philosophy about the brain. Nothing starts and nothing finishes within the mind. Meantime, they're trying right now to duplicate what's in your mind and put it in the computer. You, the the Im immensity of idiocy from humans, well, especially for the scientists, is absolutely unbelievable. Like Einstein says, there is no limit to stupidity. This is something that is absolutely impossible to do. The human mind is connected and reacting to an outside stimuli like a computer. That's a big, huge computer is all there. The universal mind is interacting with this one. And every part of your computer, every component has a specific part to play, like, you, like your computer. You are a god standing in front of your computer and you are putting the information through your keypad. Yeah, they will be able to duplicate some part of the artificial intelligence and God knows where that's going to take us. I already know. Into the reptilian agenda. Self-duplicating themselves for eternity and still wondering who the hell they are and what God is all about and what is the cosmic design all about. Your awareness, your past, your memories, your intelligence, your gift, your sins are already preset by the cosmic code. And if you become a VIP, you can start to learn a little bit more. Now, if you want to know or learn or do exactly what, what I do or any of my students can do, then join the cosmic code. Now we have my course there, the MP3 file. You have 16 MP3 file. You don't have to buy every one of them. If you're interested in what I do, just become a cosmic coder, say, okay, I want to try lesson number one. Well, believe me, once you take the first MP3 file and listen to me for a few hours, <laughs> you're going to take the second and you're going to go all the way to 16 because not only do I teach you God cosmic design, but also teach you all about the superconscious. I teach you all about the Astro Tarot. I teach you all about uh, metaphysics, uh, all about na Nostradamus natural healing. It's, it's gold, it's priceless, yet you don't know. So, join the Cosmic Code, and then once you're a VIP, order your first MP, your first MP3 file, and listen to Dr. Turi from A to Z, teaching you everything, instead of being objective like I am now, to grab your attention and to warn you to be careful, okay? You can use all this for yourself. And as long as your head work, my back, my knees, my hip, everything fall apart when you get old. That's the law. But as long as your mind is kept active, okay, you won't atrophy. Okay. And then you'll be able to make money.
and you, most of all, you'll be able to pass on my message because I might have, what, 10, 15 years left. And where is that cosmic wisdom going to go? My wife's got it. That's fine. My student got it. What about you teaching it your children so that we can stop this nightmare? Because believe me, school shooting is next. It, I mean, disaster. You can predict disaster a year ahead of time. I can give you right now all the date for the hurricane from next year, which I'm going to do in my 2020 Nostradamus Personal Universal Dragon Forecast, which I'm still writing. And believe me, believe me, the information I have for you are so crucial. And you still have your part to play. Don't think you don't exist. Don't think you cannot do nothing to make the situation better, my friend. Because you can. You can. Never forget you are a little bit more than blood, flesh, and bones. You are a human being. You are eternal. You have within you the essence of the creator. And you are creating your future. That's why I always say your future is nothing else than the reincarnations of your thought. You're not only creating your future in this lifetime, you're creating your future for your future life right now. So if I were you, I wouldn't wait too long and gather all these cosmic gifts, these cosmic pearls of mine. Now, yeah, this is what I have here. This is a crystal ball. I want you to, with me, pray for all that are gone and those that will be gone. And pray also for those who are still alive and hope with me that they will be spared up by the reptilian effect that is about to hit the United States. So, my friend, I'd like to finish by wishing all of you a good day and uh, share my work. Good luck to you. Talk to you again. Bye bye.